Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Kitty. On my channel, I do like to do live streams, vlogs, makeup related videos, as well as story time, and I like to do shopping hauls. So if one of those five things speak to you, please consider subscribing to my channel and be a part of the family. I am on my way to 10K subscribers here, hopefully by the end of the year. So please help me out with that. As you can tell by the title, this one is going to be about scary stories. So I started this segment here on my channel um, some months ago, I don't remember when, but I asked you guys to send me your scary stories, your personal paranormal um, stuff going on with you or someone you know, and you guys email them to me and I simply read them and share it with you guys that are watching. So make sure to keep watching until the very end. Here is the first story. Okay, Miss Kitty, you can refer to me as Mike. The first story goes back to the 80s, like 85 or 86. I was a kid and was traveling back and forth from Farmington to Santa Fe to see my mom in the hospital for cancer. There was a lot of waiting to see her. While waiting for her, we spent a lot of time in the waiting room. As I was sitting there, looking through the magazine and newspapers. In the newspaper, I seen an article in there and started to read it. The article said there was a dance or a prom going on in Espanola, New Mexico. There was a very handsome man that the girls or the ladies kept dancing with. As the night went on, a guy was standing next to the handsome stranger and got poked in the back. So he turned and looked around. A few seconds go by and again he got poked in the back. He turns around and starts looking around. That's when he spotted the red tail. When it was identified, his legs turned to hooves and the stranger looked around. The people got scared because his eyes glowed yellow. The stranger just walked out the dance hall. As he left, you can hear his hooves hit the concrete. And this was in the newspaper? Why would you share that in the newspaper? Wanting to scare everybody. Dang, that's crazy. So I'm assuming this is not on the res, but sounds like it may be from somebody from the res. But man, that's, that's scary. That's, mm -mm. We have stories like that back home. Um, in Globe, Arizona. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I did a story about it and I believe it's titled The Man with, with Hooves. So go check that story out. I have some scary stories I shared of my own here on my YouTube channel. So make sure to go check those ones out while you're at it. The second story comes out of Denver, Colorado. It was a nice weekend. I bought tickets to go watch the Broncos play. Also, visited a cousin who lived there for many years. We checked into our room at a motel close to the interstate. My cousin agreed to pick us up and go out for dinner, so we did. After dinner, my cousin's husband, we'll call him Doug for this story, said he knows a quicker way to get us back to our room. So he hits the side streets and then we came to a stoplight. He says, you guys see that building where those people are going in and out of? We said, yeah. He said, they say people saw the devil there. He went on to explain that on Monday, earlier in the week, one of his co-workers told him that they saw Diablo there. Doug asked, how does he know? His co-worker will call him Jose Saturday night he was at the bar with his friends having a good time and this very handsome Mexican showed up. There's a mechanical bull in that bar. People were riding it and being thrown off. Jose said the stranger requested that the me mechanical bull be put on the fastest setting it can go. The people said it was impossible to ride but the stranger insisted. So it got quiet the stranger got on the mechanical bull and started spinning really fast. 
When it came to a stop, the stranger jumped off and stumbled on his feet. During that stumble, a boot came off and his hoof was exposed. The people seen this hoof and started screaming. They were screaming, Diablo, it's El Diablo. Everyone was running out of the building. The stranger put on his boot and walked out to his car. He got in and drove off. Some of the Mexicans said as he drove off the bottom of his car was on fire. I looked at Doug and said, yeah, it's hard to believe. He said, yeah, but it's hard to call him a liar when there were a lot of witnesses. This happened the week before we went to Denver. Man. Ooh, creepy. Mm -mm. I keep telling myself I'm not gonna tell these stories. I'm not gonna read these stories late at night. And what am I doing? Shout out to this person. He sent in three stories, maybe four. So I think we're gonna put all of this into one video because he shared so many. We'll see. Let's see how the timing goes. Maybe I might add another one. Hold on. Now the third and last story. This comes out of a small northern town in New Mexico. The town is called Dulce. I have some friends there, so this story comes from one of them. I was driving through Dulce one summer day and decided to stop at a friend's house. I have been there before, so when I got to my friend's house, he was there. I said, hey, what's going on? I just decided to stop by and say hi. He said, cool, come on in and have a seat, and I did. He looks at me and says, dang, bro, there's been a lot of weird crap going on. I said, oh yeah? Like what? So he proceeds to tell me this story. My friend will call him Jack for the purpose of this story. Jack says it was a Sunday night and he got off work around 8 o'clock. When he got home, his mom had dinner ready. He changed out of his work clothes and sat down at the table. They went and proceeded to have dinner. Fifteen minutes later, a pounding on the door scared them. Jack got up and opened the door and yelled, what the hell? His mom's friend runs in. We'll call her Lucy. Lucy runs in straight to Jack's mom in a panic mode. Jack's mom calms Lucy down so she can figure out what's going on. Lucy starts the story by saying they were at a bar in Dulce, New Mexico. At that time, the bar was a big steel building colored like light blue. Inside was plenty of space. She said they were all having drinks. The bartender announced that the bar was closing early. Just then, a tall, white, handsome stranger walked in. He started buying people round after round of drinks. So around 6 p.m. in the evening, the bar finally closed. The locals got their provisions and wanted to keep partying. Lucy invited them back to her apartment. They proceeded to carry on drinking. The stranger didn't drink but had a lot of alcohol, just handing it out. Part of the group showed up to Lucy's party. There were two older ladies. These two ladies were more traditional, as in they believed more in the native culture. They spoke fluent Hickory Apache. They were talking to each other in a low tone. One said to the other, that man don't look right now. The other woman said, what do you mean? She said, look at his eyes, they keep changing color. They kept looking at him. He sat up and looked at them. Still, they whispered to each other. The stranger stood up and walked up to them and said, you want me to leave, don't you? Ew. Ew, I just got chills. They got scared and didn't want to look at his eyes, so they just looked down. One of the ladies started screaming, that he had no feet. When everyone turned to look at the stranger, head out of the apartment, they all saw his hooves. His car was parked on the side of the street. He jumped in his car and started it. 
He stepped on the gas and a big fireball came out of both tailpipes. They all stood and watched him drive away. Lucy said as he drove further away, you could still see the flames. The car headed east and out of sight. I told Jack, that's wild. He said, lots of crazy stuff happens around here like that. You, if anybody is from Dulce, New Mexico, please, if you've heard this story, please confirm it down below. If you or your mom or your grandma or somebody knows of this story and has heard of it, please comment down below. That is crazy. Okay, so he threw in a bonus one. Here is a bonus. My brother works as a security guard at Isleta Casino and Resort. He said he was walking around the casino, then a Mexican woman came up to him with a lot of money. She said, sir, can you help me? I was playing the slot. She said, my free play. Free play is a promotional, it's to get people in the casinos. The woman said she was almost out when a nice looking man came up to her and offered some money so she can keep playing. She accepted it. She starts playing the dollar slots. A couple of sp spins later, she hits the jackpot. The amount was $10,000. She was excited. She looked around for that man who gave her the money. He was nowhere to be found. She tried to find him so she could share it with him. She even went to the parking lot. Finally, she spotted him. She ran up to him and said, Hey, mister, I want a jackpot. I want to share it with you. The stranger was digging in his car in the front seat. He turned back and looked at her and said, Keep it. He had a weird voice. It scared her, and then she ran back into the casino to my brother. He said, Lady, are you okay? Because she had a scared look on her face. She gave my brother the other half of the money and ran out quickly and drove off. I said to him, Did that really happen? He said, Yeah. They even got it on security camera footage. I said, Dang. There you go, stories about the handsome stranger with hooves. Please don't use my real name when telling these stories. Use the name Mike. <laughs> wow. So thank you so much, Mike, for sharing these four stories. Um, you guys, shout out to Mike. Give Mike a, a thank you down below and let him know what you thought of these stories. Um, I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this video after that that's that's too much of those kinds of stories for tonight so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and as always if you want to contribute your story or someone you know maybe a relative or a loved one that has experienced some kind of strange activity you can always email it to whatwouldkittydo12 at gmail.com and I will eventually get to it and share it here on my YouTube channel. Thank you everybody who continues to send in their stories. It really helps out this part of my channel. We'll see you in the next one. 